the films he made of those two wonderful Rodgers and Hammerstein hit musicals, Oklahoma and Carousel. Yes, he appeared in, well, over 20 other films, five of which he co-starred with, whom he says was his favorite leading lady, Doris Day. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, Mr. Gordon McRae. Well, hello there. Thank you, Ron. You know what? I've been alive forever. And I wrote the very first song with the words and the melodies together. I am music and I write the songs. I write the songs that make the whole world sing. Songs of love and special things. I write the songs that make you young girls cry. I write the songs, I write the songs. My home lies deep within you, and I've got my own place in your soul. special things I write the songs that make you young girls cry I write the songs I write the songs It's for me, it's for you, it's from you, it's for me, it's a worldwide symphony. Yeah. I write songs that make you young girls cry. number was I write the songs. <laughs> Jeez, what a redundant song. Well, how nice to see you all here on this sunny afternoon in beautiful New Orleans. At least it's not raining today. <laughs> Boy, I got out of bed with a thunderbolt yesterday I never heard in my whole life. Whew, knocked me right out of bed. Well, it's nice to be here in New Orleans, and I know you've enjoyed the show thus far. I hope my portion of it won't be any different. A lot of memories of New, York, New Orleans, happy ones, sad ones. Shocking ones, but mostly happy. And, uh, well, let's see, one of the happy ones is about, uh, I forget, oh, about 20 years ago, I was down here playing in the uh, Greater New Orleans Golf Tournament in the Pro-Am with my friend Lionel Bear, And we won it! <laughs> I see Lionel's playing in the senior tournament now, and I'm still a senior. He shot 144 for two days up in, uh, up in uh, Rhode Island. He's still playing pretty good. I don't know what his brother Jay's doing. But uh, it's really nice to be here. Oh, I've got to explain my sling to you. You should see the other guy. <laughs> no, that's not quite the truth. I used to say that, but then I decided to tell the truth. What happened to me is about two years ago, I had a massive stroke. But if you'd have seen me two years ago, I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk, my face was paralyzed. And uh, 
The only thing that ain't in the back is I can't move this left arm too well. So I decided to tell the truth in the hopes that maybe uh, if you know some people with the same uh, problem, why you just tell them to hang in there and never give up. Just pray every day that something's gonna, good's going to happen. And you got to remember one thing, that when you pray, that God's uh, delays are not God's denials. Someday he'll take care of everything. And that's the way I feel, and I'm mighty grateful to the people who booked us in the show, and I'm mighty grateful to Paul Blaine for hiring me, giving me a chance to do what I know how to do the best, and that is to try to give you a little love through my singing and maybe get a little back. And uh, I'd like to dedicate this next song to some wonderful people. Jacques Ferrer, uh, uh, Fort, and his lovely lady, uh, Helen Ferrer Fort, and my dear friend, Mary uh, Haygood. And uh, I write the songs. I had a few songs written for me through the years, but none of them were too great, except recently I recorded this next song, which you're about to hear, a brand new one. And it was written just for me by my friend over here on my right, my conductor, my ranger, and my friend, Mr. Chuck Pennington. Would you give him a nice warm New Orleans welcome? <laughs> Wait a minute. Thank you very much. All right, singing, I'm going to get a little drink over here. Your help. I drank to so many of my friends' health that I lost my own over the years. <laughs> not no more, though, not no more. The name of my buddy's song that he wrote for me is called One More Time, and I recorded it on Panda Records about three months ago. And if you like it, please, when, you, when it comes out, which should be soon, try to find it, won't you, and go out and buy it, because I have 11 dependents. always me on top and in my prime one more smash hit one more sell out one more time in the old days there was always one more vodka twist of line one more party into morning one more time There was always one more day to spend Wine and roses without end Weeks to waste Years to use Like so many always one more mountain left to climb one more try for greener pastures one more time there was always one more day to spend life to toast with new old friends wealth to waste to use, give and take, and win and lose. In the old days, there was never once a thought about the time when I'd be here. Look at me. It's a hit. <laughs> now, 
I talked about happy times and sad times. Well, most of them were happy. One sad time was when I was playing at Fairmont Hotel in 1967. After the second show, I got a long-distance phone call from Sheila, my first wife. She said, well, you're free. I said, what do you mean? She said, I just divorced you. I'm, I'm in Juarez, Mexico. So I said, why did you do a thing like that? She said, why did you sign the paper? I don't remember doing that, but uh, of course, in those days, I used to drink a little. Matter of fact, I used to drink the labels. <laughs> but I haven't had one for six years, John. I'm mighty proud of that. And uh, I got married in September that year, remarried, or I mean married again, to Elizabeth. And I was here a year later at the Fairmont again. And I got a wonderful, happy call, though a little shocking. She told me that I was going to be a father again, which shook me up at the age of uh, and I, uh, <laughs> I went right to a clinic to get a checkup, is what I did. And while I was there, I met a good friend of New Orleansites, Phil Harris, old early times Phil. So I told him the news of the upcoming event. He looks at me and now he talks, he says, oh, geez, Gordon, not again. <laughs> well, I got a little shook up, naturally. I said, what the heck is wrong with it, Curly? He said, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? He said, when that kid is old enough to talk, he won't be able to hear. <laughs> yeah, right along about here, I'd like to have you hear uh, some songs that I've sung through the years in films. I call it a medley of my hit. You're awake. probably know the feeling when you tumble home at 8 a.m. What do you say when she says, where have you been? Whatever you say, you ain't never gonna win. So I guess I'm very lucky and I keep my wife contented and I know I have the best excuse that's ever been invented. When I'm not home and she's in bed, she turns the television on and said, she never asks me where I go. She sees me on the late, late show. She knows I'm safe on Moonlight Bay. You gotta be safe when you're with Doris Day and Shirley Jones was long ago she knows it's just a late late show well i come home though it's late she says with Catherine grace and you were great how come you're not that same ethereal that i see on that late late show so I try to prove that she's wrong And I hold her close And sing these little songs If you want to sing along with me, I know you remember them We were sailing along On my bay We could hear your voices ringing They seem to say You've stolen my heart Honey, I'll croon those two honeymoon. Keep shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love dreams. We'll be cuddling soon by the silvery moon. Thank you, Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> then she says, when you were younger, you were bolder, you were braver. I say maybe it was easier to be bold and brave with that sweet June Haver when we sang look for the silver lining it'll always banish sadness and strife so always look for the silver 
find that sunny side of life. Well, the years roll by, how they hurry and they hasten. Was the desert song that long ago when I deafened to Katie Grayson with blue heaven and you and I stand a kissing a moon and sky, a desert breeze with spring a lullaby. Love you to see I love you. Oh, give me that night divine and let my arms in yours entwine a desert song, holding its voice. Thank you. Ah, uh, the days when I was dashing, I was jaunty, I was curly, and I sang these tender songs of love to lovely Winsome Shirley. That's Jones, not Temple. Well, chicks and ducks and geese let us scurry when I take you out in the Surrey. When I take you out in the Surrey with the fringe on top. Hey, watch that fringe and see how it flutters When I drive them high step and strutters Nosy pokes peek through the shutters And their eyes will pop Her that shiny little Surrey With a fringe on the top oh, and pro bouquets of me It's all right with me.